Hey guys, I'm here to talk with you about the second season of The Terror. I know that in terms of its airing, it's almost at the end of the show. I'm only just past episode four, mainly because I've been working so much, ergo why there's been a big delay for the last week of no videos from me. I was very interested in this, but I was also very cautious of it. The first season covered the book that Dan Simmons wrote in its entirety, and I thought this was just a one-off miniseries. But then they said they were doing a second season, and I was kind of curious as to what, especially when it came out here. It shot in Vancouver, like the second episode where they're in the stables and whatnot. That's the PE. And then the internment camp, which they go to in the end of the second episode, and was the majority of the story so far for me, actually was a field that was off of 192nd and his 16th half. So I actually would pass this set on the daily for the first three months of the year when I was working on Man of the High Castle at a studio in New West. But this video was about whether the show is good or not, mainly because it's not. It's not as good as the original series, which I thought was just a one-off. Now I am going at this from its own perspective, uh, the idea of, like an anthology series, I assume American Horror Story is kind of like that. Literally the only thing that has been carried over from the first season is the name. That's it. It does have a really cool setting taking place in America right after the Pearl Harbor attack. The story follows a group of Japanese Americans and what they go through from living on this little island just off of, I think in Portland, to then being taken away from their homes, having everything taken away from them, and then being put into these internment camps. In terms of how the show is recreating this, showing the struggles and the the unfortunate circumstances that happened to the Japanese during this time. It was a horrible thing that they did. It's a dark history in America's history, as well as Canadian history. We did this too, and we were pretty shitty with it as well. But so far, yes, that aspect of the show has been done very well. It's been done very respectfully, from what I can tell. It's taking us through a realistic realm, and we're not just focusing on the awful, we are focusing on the characters too. Here's the problem, though. The characters while compelling some of them they don't have much of a purpose so far in terms of the actual terror the creature that's in this thing we actually are shown what the creature is in a sense in the first frame of the show which by the way it is very well shot it's very well shot great dop on the show but with the creature it's cool that you show it off right off the bat. You kind of show the weird twitching, walking thing. I had a few friends who worked on the show and they said watching the woman, the main woman creature thing, do her thing on the set was really cool because she has an actual contortionist and they were able to do that whole walking, wonky thing. However, by showing us kind of what this thing is right off the bat, you need to establish more to it. You can't just keep showing the same thing, which it's, done for the last four episodes or the first four episodes nothing changes the things that it does do are somewhat varied but it's along the same line and above all it doesn't make any sense in terms of what it's going for the narrative maybe it might make sense a little bit later but the fact that i'm four episodes in and i am struggling to keep watching this to keep myself enthused in watching it, that's not a good sign. And I don't know if it's going to get any better. I can even see on the IMDb comparisons that with the first season... Yep. Are you recording? Yep. Oh, sorry. With the first season having almost... With the first season having a bunch of stellar reviews and, num and rating numbers for the first season, if it's... The first season had a bunch of stellar scores for all of the episodes, whereas the second season so far, I don't think it's even reached above an 8. And I can feel what the other people are feeling because I'm just not engaged in this. And it's because the creature thing is just not interesting. It doesn't have a point to it so far that is clear. Now, admittedly, the first one, yeah, there's not much to it. It was a demon polar bear thing eating people, but at least how they shot it they never showed this thing for the longest time they built up to it for so long you had that tension the first season is not a horror story it's a thriller it's a supernatural thriller that's what this one's trying to be but this one can't help but not keep showing this woman in various forms of 
deformation and whatnot, but it doesn't make sense as to why she's good and then all of a sudden she's bad later on. Maybe again, maybe this will make sense later on. The fact that they've been showing this thing over and over and over and over again, but they're not building on it, doesn't make it interesting to me. The character development and the character story is interesting. It has more of a centralized focus than the first season did, other than Jared Harris's character. This one has a lot more of a central cast, which I like. It's a lot easier to remember who everyone is and remember all the characters and whatnot, but it doesn't make it any better when I don't care what's going on. And that's something that this show just doesn't have. The suspense, the thrills, the tension is completely void in this. Every time the thing is on screen, I'm like, okay, what? What you doing? Kind of on the fence is whether I'm going to keep watching this or not. I'm going to give it at least two more episode watches. By the way, though, there is something that does happen that's not related to the monster in the fourth episode, which involves a flamethrower, which was so stupid. Just dumb. I'm amazed that they did this. There's so many ways that they could have done this a lot better than what they did because how they shot this sequence with a flamethrower was just... He should be dead. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. I'll try and finish it, but we'll see. I did enjoy talking about the first season. But we'll see what happens when I watch another episode. So no promises. Anyways, see you guys later.